My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Just to quickly explain what happened at the end of the last episode, because it randomly ended quite unceremoniously with a message that just said, uh, matchmaking sucks in Australia, which it does. I tried to do a bunch of invasions with Red Eye Orb under the Watchdogs of Farron Covenant, but it turns out, and uh, this is hilarious, it turns out that uh, there's latency issues everywhere. It was literally impossible to play. So that was fun. Instead of that, what we're going to do is go back to the area that was leading towards the Cathedral of the Deep. I don't know why I tried to run down that area. There is a closer bonfire that I've already discovered. Let's travel there. Uh, Farron Keep, no. Keep Ruins, no. Crystal Sage. Crystal Sage, I think, is the bonfire that I want to go to. No, Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> that seems like that might be the bonfire I want to go to, actually. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ooh, Red Tearstone Ring. I wonder if it's as powerful as it was in the first game, or if it's as powerful as it was in the second. Because in the first game, there were entire speedruns based around the idea of just getting the RTSR as fast as possible. I mean, they were literally called the RTSR strats, because you would just get the Red Tearstone Ring, and they defined your entire run. And then you would just play the game after that. Like, it was... I wonder if there is a no RTSR, like, category for Dark Souls 1. That would be interesting to me. Okay, so I have just enough endurance to swing my weapon four times. This is good. This is uh, around where I want to be. Actually, I should kill this fellow right here. Oh, God. The flame arrows are just really punishing. God! Okay, let's just stay here for a second. Okay, we'll just get hit by one of them. That's okay. Oh god, there's three of you? Okay, how about we try and take you down before we move in? So what do you think about fire orbs? <laughs> Not a fan, eh? What? Wrong one. Nope. Uh, okay, the dogs I happen to know hate fire. I don't understand. So my, it seems really coincidental that my pyromancies are always enough to get them just close to death, but not enough. So close. Just a little lacking on the final blow right there. Okay, that kind of hurt more than I was hoping for. Roll over to the side so this guy can't hit me. And then we'll see if we can take the high path and find ourselves an item. Uh, oh, it looks like I already found an item here. Whoops. And there's no way to run around the outside. Beautiful. As long as I've cleared the area, because those things were annoying me. Alright, what do we got downwards? Have I explored the rest of this area? I'm pretty sure I got up there, I got that item, I turned in here, and then I was like, okay, no, fuck this, I'm going the other direction. And then I went down into the Farron Keep, which turns out not to have been an amazing idea. Sacrifice ahead. Are you saying I am going to just have to sacrifice a life? Well, oh, okay. That was interesting. That is really interesting. So he stabs himself with a knife and then gets more powerful. And then runs at you and explodes. Oh, you're dead. I can't lock onto you. That's interesting. Good fellow ahead. Am I supposed to be able to get down there or look down there? I know there was a well in Dark Souls 2 that you just had to go d Oh, I have to kill these guys, don't I? Yeah, if I want the item. And I do want the item. I want the item more than I care about the existence of anyone else, so that's going to happen. Esther Shard, definitely worth. 100% worth. Okay, so this would be how I would get to the bottom of the well, right? Where did that experience... Oh, no, it was Estus. Where did that Estus come from? Hmm. Uh. Okay, so I can't get back up anyway, so I may as well... Whoa! Bugger off. 
What? Jump again. They don't like fire. Got it. That's actually weird. You'd think that they would not really care about the fire because they are in water. So they should have like higher fire resistance unless this game doesn't take that mechanic from previous games. This whole area is really open. I'm just going to try and go down one path at a time. Although I really don't have the mana to do anything down there. Mm. Be wary of trap. Right there. Okay. What trap? This trap? Is there a trap here? Damn it. I was trying to trigger it as well. Be wary of trap. And then you gesture towards this. I do not understand at all. Or maybe the trap is on the other side and you were trying to tri- Nope. I have no clue what the hell you're talking about, buddy. Now that looks like it would be more like- Oh, no, 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 no. Oh god, I can't even hit them. Shling! Bye, bro. Oh, cool. This is the part with the leeches. Okay. I know what to do here. Do not worry for a second. Oh. Nope. Wrong one. There we go. You just need to introduce some fire and then the leeches get off of you. And my... Currently my only source of flame would be my pyromancy glove, but that doesn't appear to be enough. I did have that out for a second. Actually, if I hold the pyromancy glove... Can I backstab you? Okay. No, holding the pyromancy glove does not stop it. Okay, it's only the torch. Interesting. Soul of Deserted Corpse. Okay, that's a really low soul drop, actually. If you could give me something a little bit uh, more substantial, I'd be very much in your debt. <gasps> that's more substantial. Get over here. Yes, wing. No, die. Thank you. Whoo. Twinkling Titanite, don't mind if I do. And... A Titanite Shard. That one, not so much. I really need the large Titanite Shards at this point. I think I have one chunk as well already. So that's going to be really good. Although I probably need two chunks to upgrade. Right, yeah, because it's two for everything at this point. Gibby. Gibby, 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 gibby. Get back here, you piece of shit. There we go. One on you. Twinkling Titanite. Oh, I see you. Come on. Bring it. I really should have taken more free hits on you while you were waking up. Whoa, okay, that was not the attack I thought you were doing. Chug, chug. Come on. It. There we go. You got me. Oh, good work, buddy. You really got me. Come on, and kill him. Backstab. Nope. Tight Knight Scale. Don't mind if I do. That must be my third of the... Four, third or fourth? I think it actually might be my fourth. So, yes, it is my fourth. And it reinforces soul transposed weapons. So that is two different soul transposed weapons I can get to plus one. Nothing up in this area. I'm looking for the next bonfire, really. I just want some more FP. Oh, go. No, 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 no. That's not how I wanted that to go down at all. There we go. That's closer to what I wanted. And Poison Bite Ring. Huh. I wonder if it's worth me putting on the Blood Bite Ring. It only occurs to me now that I've been given the Poison Bite Ring. I wonder if it's worth putting the Blood Bite Ring on before I try and conquer this area. Night Night Shard. Anything interesting in this area? Any ambush? Not that I can see, but if I can explore something else first, I will. Have we gotten back to the top? 
of the area? No, the top of the area is still way through there, so... That is not where we are. Oh! This is interesting, they've given... I was thinking, oh, they've given us a little window into to look into the building. Ah, there must be some sort of a trap that they want us to spot. Uh, it's only there for the... Or it's only observable by those who are keen upon finding and exploring things. Ah, yes, this is going to be lovely. But no, it was it was an invisible wall. Or an invisible slippery slope, rather. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What killed this fellow? Oh, huh. I've got to hope that that was an invader that killed you, because I don't even know of any enemy that can be in this area yet. This area seems relatively safe. Okay, I think we drop down here now. Okay. That just leads back to outside. Bonfire! Bonfire! Give me that. Oh, man. Okay. Let's get our Estus back. Let's consider whether or not we want to go try and level up, try and do things like this. Uh, no, we need to heal... We need to heal Dark Sigils. We need to find more Pahrumpa Palm. Forked Pale Tongue. Uh, right, yeah, that's something I actually managed to earn while I was trying to do my invasions. Soul of the Crystal Sage, Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. Blood of the Wolf. This is the Abyss Watchers. Beautiful. So I've still got some more options for the weaponry that I can use. Because I did see a video showcasing one of the weapons you can get from the Abyss Watcher, Soul. It's a really interesting weapon. Try bleeding, but whole. Ah, notched whip. Excellent. So you can use that in kind of a, I imagine, luck-based builds. Apparently luck scales bleed. There's no upper area. So if everything's blocked, I guess I... Like, this is just supposed to be a free bonfire for you for the moment? Or does this area open up after I complete other things? Because we killed the Abyss... Or rather, the Abyss Watchers. And it opened... Fairly large area. The skeletal area that was directly below. That <laughs> I've since ignored. Uh, time for Pyromancy. Ah, oh, I got you, buddy. Is this... Is this good? Whoa! Buddy. No more. Thank you. Is it time for pyromancy? It doesn't look like it's time for pyromancy, I'll be honest with you. Oh god, there are a lot of you. Seems like when they spawn, they also throw up... Oh, really? Seems like when they spawn, they also throw up a bunch of leeches. Actually, if I just do a charged R2 on everyone, it should be fine, right? One down. Okay, these enemies are real easy. I don't understand the time for pyromancy ahead, but... I'm never gonna Whoa! I'm never gonna complain about having to fight easy enemies. Oh shit, yo! Do they just infinitely spawn unless you kill them with pyromancy? I would not be surprised, to be honest with you. If this guy's coming back. Oh my god! Yeah, they do belch all of... Maybe time for pyromancy is just to say, hey, you're going to need fire to get these leeches off of you. Oh, 
Okay, I guess we're just running through the entire area then. No. Going up here. As dictated by the path the other ones were taking. Oh, rough. This is mine now. A store a great sword. Ooh. Okay, and through here we have, hopefully, solace from Nevermind. <laughs> oh, just another one immediately, of course. Good lord. Dash. Yep, nope. Got it. Let's go. Eee! Fading soul. Beautiful. Execution is great, so I don't mind. If oh my gosh. Make our way through here. Whoa. Oh shit, they transform. That's cool. Did these guys respawn? I have to imagine they still do. Whee! Can I be let through, please? Jeez. Honestly. Whee! We got through. I mean, not without being damaged, but we got through nonetheless. I can't remember where I am. I'll be entirely honest with you. I cannot recognize the area yet. Okay. Is that important? Doesn't look like it. Oh, fuck. I know that area now. Okay, okay, okay. No, I've got you. That leads down there. Beautiful. Let's just go back to the bonfire for a second, because fighting those has actually been really annoying and has drained a lot of my FP, by which I mean literally all of my FP. Oh, interesting. So you can often use the skill of a weapon, regardless of whether or not you have the FP. It's just lessened in effect but you can't use combustion which is the skill of the pyromancy glove interesting interesting good fellow ahead friend ahead is a friend ahead here why is it facing this way i'll figure it out it's okay all right so i need to figure out the way actually through this area I mean, I've got one idea. Just go straight. Stop doing what I was doing, which was constantly changing your path. Don't worry about the offshoots, just go straight forward. Oh, oh never mind, it turned out to be correct. One down. Whee! Don't follow me. Please tell me they stop. Oh my god. Do they just inhabit the entire area? Infinitely respawning areas. Ooh. Oh, fuck. God damn it. That's exactly what I was terrified about. Stop it! Bugger off! Okay. Now you're gonna regret existing. Whee! Gotcha. I didn't even get souls. Oh my god, does that enemy respawn? I hate this so much. Uh, I'm gonna have to go down here. Raise the friendship. Fuck off. Young White Branch. Okay, got one. Uh, we'll get one of these. Undead Bone Shard. That's really important. Ooh. Pep. <gasps> Praise the friendship! 
Where are you? Where is this magnificent man? I have no clue where he is, but I love you, goth. Is it always around white tree birch things that he's in existence? That seems very much to be his thing. I wonder if an invader trying to come into this area, if he would get mad at them too. I have to imagine so. Just making sure that I wasn't missing anything there. And we'll loop around here. Is the rest of the area clear? Nope. The answer to that is a very, very emphatic fuck no. Curse, ward, great shield. Rear ahead, try finger, butthole. God damn it. God damn it, souls community. Raise the shortcut. Oh! Fuck yes! Okay, so that goes back down to that area. I'm familiar with that area. That's the area that was called a trap before, but it's not. Unless, of course, the trap has not yet triggered. I can't imagine why that would be, though. Okay, we have an Estus Shard and an Undead Bone Flask, so we should be going Estus Shard and an Undead Bone Shard. Red Bug Pellet, beautiful. I imagine if that's telling me I'm going to need Fire Defense soon. Of course not. <laughs> I had to try, but I was 100% expecting that to fail, as it did. Hey, reward. Busted Coin. Now, there was someone way over in this side who is now deceased. Sorry, I must have been reading the future there for a second. Whoa, buddy. <gasps> you are kidding me. They just hit me with Lloyd Talismans. Or uh, Undead Hunter Charm. I think is what they're called in this game. But they just prevent healing. Interesting. Hey, 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 hey! Knew it. Damn it. I was really hoping that would be a... Oh. Yeah, no, I'm totally coming up to fight you guys. Oh, no, we're going to have such a really good time. LOL jokes. We're going down here. I don't know what the fuck happened upstairs, but it sounds real bad. So I'm not going back up there. Stab him. Really? Whee. Okay. That seems like it was kind of a reaction hit, actually. Interesting. Spiked mace. Don't mind if I do. Undead hunter charm, of course. They have to be in this area if they're going to be using them. Enemy ahead. I hate that message. I hate that message so much. I would have run straight by. I would have been protected, but no. Specifically because a message was left there, I had to check it. Ambush ahead? Bullshit. Never mind. Never mind. Not bullshit. Turns out to be true. God damn it. Oh, I figured it had to be like a double bluff, double troll kind of thing going on. Evidently, no. Turns out not to be the case. God damn. Are you freaking kidding me? Stop Estusing, damn it. If you don't want me to, you also ought to not either was said very, very stilted in manner. Okay. Now we can resume the climb upwards. Did I not get that? Oh no, one of them dropped something that I must have... Must have? Must have forgotten. Thrall Axe. Just gonna go human form for the moment. Almost entirely because I wanted a way to heal and I only have one Estus left. 
Ah. You triggered way too early, friend. God damn it. Whoa. Uh, it must be that if one of them triggers, the other one triggers as well. I wonder if I had like a great hammer and I hit this, if it would just go down. That would be cool. Although, something I do like about Dark Souls is that it never proposes one specific way of opening a passage. Like, if you're a pyromancer, if you have a great sword, if you have a rapier, you can all open the same shit. So it doesn't inherently make the builds unequal, unequal rather. Fire bombs, beautiful. Uh, nope, we are going to chug our final flask. And now, it's push forward until we find the bonfire. Ooh, my favorite time in souls. Just gets real tense. I don't want to lose my 14k souls. But I also don't want to have to go backwards, so what do I do? Push forwards. No, okay. Um... On fire ahead. Oh, damn it. These guys are real active. Okay, that worked really well. Okay, you tried? It was really impressive, but seriously, don't ever try and fuck with me again. Oh my god. What did I say? On fire? Ambush ahead. Are you fucking kidding me? Another one? You think I'm gonna fall for that twice? Fool me once. Shame. Just shame. Don't fool me. Anyone else? No. Beautiful. Brawl hood. Beautiful. Soul of a nameless soldier. So it wasn't even a good item I was in, in prep for. Okay, you got one. Two. Ah. That's where the other enemy is. Shit. That was a real quick strike. So you went for a small strike and then a pull away strike as well? I'm sad about it, I'll tell you that much. 17k. 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 You know what? I care enough about 17k. We'll put on the Ring of Sacrifice. And we just have to make our way back there. Oh, crap. How do I make my way back there? I don't really know. Okay, what do I know? I know that there was a shortcut that I opened. And I know the shortcut I opened is there. Right over there. Getting down to that is shitty. But I guess we have to do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Zoom. And we got here. Beautiful. <laughs> I did not remember that it actually connected up there. Makes this a lot easier. Don't tell me the trap tree is now or something. I'm not going to plunging attack you, but I really want to. I'll tell you that much. Okay. So we just need to get back. Oh, fucking shit. Never mind. That person's going away. Awesome. If they follow me, I'm going to be pissed. Never mind. They're totally done there. Okay. Follow through this path. We can ignore a large amount of enemies, but not all of them. Hello, enemy that hasn't woken up, but is going to wake up, so I'm really annoyed about it. Hello, other enemy. You don't even get the honor of such a large name. Okay, that was a headshot. Nice work. Damn it. God damn it. Okay, you've, you've self-immolated. Let's run away. Until you... 
Oh my god. Stop hitting me directly in the head. It's rude. You realize that this now means war. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh. If I was a spellcaster, you'd be dead. He's so dead. I'm coming for you. Don't worry. I'm going to find exactly where you're hiding. Swing. Down you go. Stay down. Okay, and then the shenanigan lords. Yo, what up? Get down here. Oh shit, did you die from the fall damage? Nice. Alright, that's not cool. That is not cool. Too many archers. Oh my god. Can this other archer just chill? Jeez. I have enough unicorn horns right now, please. Oh. Guess who's sorry now, bitch? Me. I'm still sorry. Real honest. I didn't want to have to kill you, but... Kind of in my way. That's a pretty painful death right there. Stab yourself in the stomach, get on fire, and then fall to your doom. Uh, of course. This area. Basically, I just have to dodge. Oh, God the arrows, because if one hits me, it'll stagger me, and then I'll be real sad. Stab him! That's why you don't hold your shield up, buddy, unless you got a little bit more of a stable one. Alright, we don't want to trigger that ambush. And eh, maybe we want to trigger the ambush? Wing! So the reasoning behind wanting to trigger the ambush is what if they tried to ambush me if I didn't do that? I think I can leave the cathedral guys over in the other area. Gotcha. The exact thing you were trying to prevent me from doing. Nothing else in this area. There is an ambush in there. Roll ahead. Oh, damn it. Oh, you are fucked up. Oh. Because there's ones on the other side, so you were trying to bait me into a corner, which you did successfully. Thankfully for me, I recognized it. Oh, cruel. And unusual. I'd call it punishment as well, to be entirely frank with you. down. This time I'm actually going to kill you first. And now I can pick up my souls. Beautiful, and I've got another 3k to add to them. What is it I hear that I can't see? Or more importantly, why does this area exist? Why am I led up here? Maybe it'll reveal some importance later. I think what I could hear was the people lying in ambush in the other area that I didn't trigger. Whee! I'm getting away from you. You're crazy. Gotcha. <laughs> they did. Ah, okay. We did actually get some stuff for that. You're so deceased. 
Uh, actually managed to make you bleed as well. We're getting Estus, I think, every time we kill one of those. That makes little to no fucking sense. Could this be a bonfire? I mean, yeah. I just need a bonfire sword. We had a coiled sword in the opening of the game that we used to make a bonfire. Oh. Run away. Actually, hang on. Get here. Make a bonfire. That didn't work like I was hoping, though. We just need a coiled sword. That happened in the opening to the game. Of course. I'm not going to let any of you live ever. Are you kidding me? What kind of guy do you think I am? Open the door. Beautiful. I hope this leads straight through the other area. Uh, it actually can't. It doesn't make sense geographically. It's definitely a nice area, though. I don't know if I want to go into it until at the very least I've killed all of you. Ambush ahead. Ambush ahead. Be wary of left? No. Of left up there, maybe? Let's just try and kill them one by one. Ah, knew it. I say I knew it like I knew anything about it. What I knew is there was a note that said there was an ambush. Oh shit. They're all killing themselves. I'll let them do that, that's fine. And now it's just me and you. Although, I'll be honest, that jump attack looked bad fucking ass. Gotcha. Kind of slightly outrange you, friendo. That's, uh, that's why I was waiting. Ooh. Oh. That seems like an entirely useless path. Ember, beautiful. Makes up for the one that I wasted earlier this episode. 37 minute episode. Whoops, fuck, shit. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's try and find a bonfire. There has to be one near. Whoa! Kicking, fella. I won't get down. Okay, so this is. Oh, never mind. There's actually a way. Are you? Oh my god. You pricks are why I fucking hated the depths in Dark Souls 1. Great, now I actually have to worry about those again. I, th I was through worrying with them. So I imagine that one was on the ground just to tell you, hey, these exist in this area. Like a bit of tutorialization kind of going on. Why? I said no. That means you're not allowed to do pyromancies at me. Oh, okay. Yeah, they died way too easily. That makes... Oh, excuse me. Deep gem. Oh, deep. That's the human uh, dark infusion. Some of these rooms I just don't understand. Like, I just don't understand the existence of the room. Up. No, that's down. Nice try. Yeah, that, that's very down. Honestly, I'm aware of some directions occasionally. This seems quite down. Backstab. Alright. If you're just gonna stand back there... Oh, never mind. <laughs> stand back there. Swing. Gotcha. Yeah, in a small corridor, that one was never going to work. I don't know how you tried it. Ballsy approach, though. Okay. Looks like I'm pretty safe to take this. Deep gem. I wonder if that means that this area is going to have a lot of people using dark. 
just the existence of two deep gems really close to one another kind of seems to hint towards that. Oh! Shit, dicks. That's what they meant by up. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Whoa. Hello. Nope. 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 That's aggression. I can see the signs of aggression when they appear. Please, bonfire. God damn it. This episode is already 5,000 years long. Uh, hallway leading to a bonfire. Oh. I think I've explored this area. What have done? Oh, no, this leads back to the original bot. Okay, excellent. We've got kind of like an open path here. I like it a lot. I'm digging it. Just quickly go over here and rest and then end the episode saying something along the lines of... My name is Rune Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Dark Souls 3. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.